Hi, in this video we're going to look at while loops in Carol. We've already learned that we can repeat actions in Carol. Think about this. What if we wanted to move all the way across the screen? Well, the reason we can't use a for loop is because the worlds can be different sizes. How do we solve this one? So introducing while loops. While loops allow us to repeat a section of code as long as some condition is true. Let's emphasize that point for a second. We use while loops to repeat as long a condition is true. In contrast, the for loop is used to repeat a fixed number of times. What does the while loop look like? We say while some condition is true and then a colon, then we indent the code to execute while the condition is true. The formatting with a colon and indentation should start to look familiar. It's the same as our if statements, our for loops, and our functions. Let's look at an example. We can say, while the front is clear, then we'll move. We will continue to loop and check that condition each time until the front is no longer clear. So let's look at some examples of writing while loops in the editor. Okay, so let's explore our while loop in the editor. So here we have a world that has nine streets and nine avenues, and we want Carol to move all the way across to our world. So what we could do is we could do a for loop. So we could say for i in range, and we know that there's nine spots there. We want Carol to move nine times. And if we run this, we will see that Carol successfully moves all the way across the world. If we switch to a different world though, we're gonna run into a problem here. So if I run this code, we're gonna say, uh-oh, Carol crashes into the wall. Well, different worlds, different sizes need a different problem. And I don't wanna necessarily have to change my code each time. And so this is where I'm gonna use my while loop. So if I change this to say while, and I give it a condition, so while front is clear, I want to move. So now I try this here. Well, if I run this in my large world, Carol still goes all the way across. When Carol gets to the end, the front's no longer clear, and so Carol exits that loop. If I switch this now to my small world, we can see that the same code is gonna work here. And again, if I switch to a medium-sized world and run that, Carol still successfully navigates her world. And that is our while loop. So go ahead and play around with it yourself.